established by the governments of Canada, Ontario, and the City of Toronto. They tasked us with revitalizing the waterfront, not just redeveloping it. They also mandated to do it in a manner that delivers long-term economic growth and attracts new jobs to the waterfront. They were also mandated to ensure that the new waterfront communities are showcase communities that attract people from around the world to work, to live, to play, and to learn. Today, we're thrilled to be sharing with you our plans to wire our new waterfront communities with the latest in smart technology infrastructure. Our waterfront communities will feature open access, ultra-broadband fiber optic infrastructure that will establish them as intelligent communities that revolutionize how residents receive telecommunication services. If you want to attract the best talent and the most promising businesses, you have to provide advanced communications infrastructure, and that means high-speed broadband, and what you're developing here is uh, absolutely state-of-the-art, world-class broadband infrastructure. There's a, a real advantage for those who want to incubate new ideas, provide new products, new content. This is really a, an enabling infrastructure for innovation. It attracts people to a community that thrives on being able to offer uh, smart environments such as high-speed broadband, but also end users who use the high-speed broadband to do cool things in their community. It's five to pipes and many types of content, so really what we're doing is opening up the doors to all this potential content that can come in or be created in the community. The real differentiator of this particular model is it's an open access model, which means that everybody can go on. Uh, we want to support innovation through the use of this portal through developing applications. The open access model is actually designed to create a competitive space where people will innovate and create new services on the network. Well, ultimately, the cities that are going to differentiate themselves are the ones that are going to attract talent. We all know that. And so what does it take to attract talent? You have to provide a safe and secure environment. And Toronto and Canada, in fact, does that. We have a great place for cities. But you also have to have the tools for innovation. And the Ultra Broadband Initiative here is the ultimate tool to connect people to the world and allow people to create. And whether it's using them to create physical products or, or intellectual property, it's going to differentiate us as we go around the world bringing business to Toronto. Well, that's the whole concept. If you're an intelligent city, you're going to attract talent. If you're a dumb city, you're not going to attract it. Um, you're going to create it here. You're going to attract it here. But probably more importantly, what you want to do is make sure you can retain it here. People have from a creativity perspective in terms of developing new products and services, but also from a cost perspective to take advantage of certain cost production initiatives, uh, such as cloud computing or other things that uh, will ride on broadband infrastructure. The type is no different than water or sewer. And at the end of the day, it isn't, from my point of view, it's part of 